Hello everyone and welcome to this new video about how to use GAM to manage your G Suite. In this video I'm going to talk about labels and how you can create labels for users or for a specific user or even for all of the users in your G Suite admin console. But actually before going to the specifics about this I wanted to talk a little bit about why we need to create labels in the first place and what is the important and what is the use of labels in G Suite and to get started as you know the labels are the way of classifying emails in gmail you know in hotmail and outlook and in the other platforms you create a folder and inside this folder you put the email and you know you just move the email from a place to place it is different in gmail of course you assign multiple labels to one email and one email can have like one or two or even more labels assigned to that email so basically, if you want to create filters for your users and that filter or those filters will need to use labels, you can just create the label at the time of the filter creation as you've seen in one of the previous videos or you can just create the label prepared before doing the filter creation. Also, you can create the label or you might need the label if you want to create a hold or if you wanted to do a search in Google Vault if you are using G Suite Business or G Suite Enterprise or I think Education and Government as well will have Google Vault or sometimes you need to make the compliance rules in the admin console and you need to have some labels for those rules or something like this then the labels will come in handy if you can manage those or if you just want your users to just organize their emails and if you want to create a label for example called important email or old email or something like this for archiving so users will put their old email in that label and any email in that label will be automatically archived or removed from the archive in the google vault so there are really many uses and many cases for labels i'm just trying to list the the stuff that the it usually need to use or need to create labels for other users because usually users who are using gmail will will be well aware of how to create labels and all of that so with this the command for creating label is very simple and a very short one as well basically you start with gam and then you will select the scoop whether a single username a group um, organizational unit name or you can do it for all of the users and then you just type label and then the label name between two quotation marks if it contains spaces the example for this is very straightforward so it's gam all users label the new level i'm going to show you the example here and then after that i want to show you how you can retrieve the labels as well because sometimes you need to get the name of the label for example or you need to know the count of email messages inside a label so we will do this by doing the other command which is gam user then the scope as well and then show labels and you specify one of two arguments or even two arguments either you specify only user or show counts so if you specify only user it means it will only list the labels that the user manually create it means in other words it will not list the system labels like inbox draft send and all of those labels it will only list the user created labels then the show counts is going to show you the number of email messages in each label this might come in handy if you had a use case for it so let's go to the command prompt and let's start with the label creation command but first actually i want to take you to the gmail to make sure that our gmail mailbox is clean and you don't have anything inside it in terms of labels so yeah i've got a payment failure or whatever so um here we see the labels on the left side and it seems that i only have one created label one user created label which is called failed logins i used this in one of the previous videos then i have the other labels in here so i think that's that's fine we'll be using whatever we have here i'm going to create a label called important email for example so it's going to be gam user i can do it for all of the users so let me actually do it for my user then i will do another one to affect all of the users then label and sorry it's not label it's label 
and then the level name which is so I am going to press enter and let's see what's gonna happen so it created the label for me as you can see in the confirmation creating label important email for the user it's only one user so this is the single user now if you want to do it for all of the users then it's the same command again instead i will actually change let me let me actually verify it first i don't want i don't want to rush things so i created the label here and i think i need to either refresh the page or maybe let me refresh the page this is the important email which i have just created so about the all users now let's go back to the command and let's make it something like archive email for example or old email so i'm going to make it old email and i'm going to make it all users so I'll remove all of those come okay, all users then i'll press enter and let's see what's gonna happen i need to mention that i only have i think one or two licenses for g suite on this admin console so even this it's going to only create i think yeah it's 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 actually created two labels because i only have the license on two users of the eight users that are currently here so going back to the gmail let's refresh the page again and we're going to see the latest label which we have created which is named old email you see this is the label this label should have been created for all of the users so if that other user logged in he should see the label old email in his gmail mailbox as well so as for the retrieving the labels it's a very simple and straightforward command as, to, as well we'll go to the command prompt again and i will do the same command which is gam then user i'm going to do it for my user only because i don't want to give you a very massive output for all of the users so i'm going to only do it for one user and then it is show labels and i want to actually put the show counts at the end so i can see the number of email messages in the label so it is show counts and when i press enter i should get the report or displayed on the screen but for the sake of readability i want to put it on a text file once the text file is generated i can actually open it and show the content to you in a better view so I will do it as a user labels.txt is going to be a text file because the formatting is not uh, is not CSV or is not even tab delimited or anything. I think you can change it to be something like CSV uh, comma separated file. Maybe you can script it somehow to read the file and output the content of the file in a CSV formatted way using command prompt or even powershell you can do it it's it's not that hard i i think i have done it before so it's it's basically you read the line you read the next line you, you keep reading the lines until you get an empty line where that means you have reached the end of the entry for example then you make a new line in the destination file and you know and, and that's it so it's not that hard if you have some knowledge about powershell i think you can do it it's not very complicated or anything so waiting for this to generate the file for us and it's still working on it and it's still working on it now just keep in mind as well in this command i did not put the user only i am showing all of the labels even the system labels so this is taking actually time more than expected because it is counting the number of email messages in each label and it's going to generate that file i think if we did not specify show counts it's going to take less time so i i might actually do it again after this one is done without putting the show counts to make sure that this is actually what is causing the delay here 
Okay, so it's finally completed. It took a little bit of time. And the file, let me make a list of the files that are here. So it's called user levels. So what we have here is the list of labels and how many emails in those labels. So you would see the type of the label, the label visibility setting, the message visibility setting, and then the number of emails or threads, the unread threads, and the actual number of unread messages and the total number of email messages. You will find this for every label that is out here. You see the important email label which we have created earlier and you see the old email, the important label which is a system label. So basically everything here is within two categories, either a user label or a system label. Let's check the inbox for example. You see the inbox is a system label, its ID is inbox and we have 144 email messages there with 131 messages unread so this is the view that you should get in command prompt however i chose to put it here just to make sure that all of the contents are shown now i just wanted to check whether the show counts option is causing the delay so i'm going to do the same command again and i will actually remove the show counts and all of this i just want to display it on screen so let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I think I think maybe the show count is having something to do with the delay. But doesn't matter really. If you are trying to script it, you will just put it in a script and leave it to do its work and you will get back to the result when it, once it's done. Since we are doing this, actually, let's do the on the user as well. So on user and actually show counts. And let's see what's gonna happen now. So I told them to display only the user labels and sure enough here are the labels that are manually created. You would see that only the failed login label is containing email messages and threads. The rest are actually empty because we just created them. So this is it really for this video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comment, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments section. Same goes if you have any question, please put it in the comments and I'll be happy to communicate and answer any questions that you have. Please check my blog and please check my other videos as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.